We I are recording. I want to know that I'm a member of this cult. The question mark cult. <laughs> Who are they? What are they? When she are they? Walk come around. From? We should just walk around with paper sacks on our heads with big question marks drawn on them all the time. There you go. And most importantly, yeah, I mean, why are they? The condoms and put just a question mark on the tip. <laughs> What's going inside of me? Wait. <laughs> Where am I putting it? I like, to call, I, like, I like to call that pants grab bags. <laughs> so, Pockets, did you enjoy yourself at X Day? I did enjoy myself at X Day, but, you know, unfortunately now it's over. And I'm having the onslaught of X Day induced nightmares. Oh, I'm having the post X Day drip as well. You people won't leave my brain. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? It's kind of just like, man, what the fuck? What now? You know? It's like you just want to go there and just stay there forever. You know, but that's not true. That's not true at all. Because there there comes that point to where you're just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna the... go home. Yeah. But then you get home and you want to be at X day. You know, we're so geniuses <laughs> and we're not happy. Them out. Anyway. They cancel each other out. They always do. Yes, the the subgenius is always greener on the other side of the fence. You know, I agree. I, I couldn't stay there forever, but I, you know, hell, a week isn't long enough for me. I could, I could, two weeks would be ideal. But that's why we do it for a week at a time, I guess. Well, interestingly enough, you know, now that you mention that, uh, there is the 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 festival that goes on after X Day now. Which is, of course, Starwood. Starwood yes, and uh, um, actually, you know, when I talked to uh, uh, Princess Wee, um, she said, you know, if you guys want to stay for Starwood, you can do the same kind of slack barter thing that you do for X Day if you have like, uh, you know, shows or things like that. Whatever, whatever type of thing you like to do. Oh yeah. Yeah. So wow. you know you could do a two a whole two week thing if you want to put up with the the see that's the pagan that's not hippies. my idea of fun. It's bad enough that I got to do it with sub geniuses, you know. <laughs> no doubt. You know, but when you're not there for X Day, you kind of blend in. They just think you're one of them. Yeah, that, that's probably true. 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 You know, and I don't know. We were, you know, honestly, we, we planned on staying for the first day, and we really didn't leave. Mm -hmm. We just kind of switched locations. Yeah. And the plan was to go back to Wisteria on the 5th and hang out. And um, we went into about an 18-hour coma. <laughs> <laughs> we... <laughs> We actually hung out at the Cabal camp. Me and AD did the last day, and that was cool. It was a real mellow group, and actually it was cool because we got to spend time hanging out, and Susie was still there. She stayed for another day, so we really got to you know know each other even better, which was just spectacular because you know it was just she she made my X day this year. I had so much fun hanging out with her. I witnessed some of that X day making with my own eyes. I saw <laughs> things I will never speak of. Things that you can't unsee either. That's right. That's you right. You can't unsee. It involves water hoses and taints and mud. Nice. Well, my wife knows about it. Everybody mud. knows about it. I, I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> my wife thought it was funny. Well, you know, from, from what I hear on the, uh, the internets, uh, you know, Susie the Floozy is quite the, uh, quite the lead hacksaw there. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> there is a lot going on on the internet this week. I'll tell and, you uh, what. <laughs> apparently, um, the WikiLeaks and everything is all caused by Susie the Floozy. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? You, well, you know, you know when you're talking on your according cell phone to certain people, and and you get like to that real part of a conversation, and the call drops. Yeah. It's Susie the Floozy. Oh, of course. You go fuck yourself. <laughs> Did, did you keep up with that uh, slander? Have you been keeping up with uh, the subgenius slack hole conversations uh, well, and stuff? Uh, no, nah, man. Uh, I saw a little bit of what was going on and kind of decided to stay the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? You have no choice to, but to be out of it now because I have news for you. You're fired. <laughs> Who? All of us? <laughs> all of us. Oh, man. Oh, all that's fired. right. That's right. 
<laughs> I remember seeing that. He 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 pretty much uh, deleted all of us, didn't he? For for those of you who don't know, there was of course um, one in a long line of many kooks that walked through the uh, the front door of the Church of the Subgenius and decide that uh, they know what's best for it, and of course they get promptly spanked. But uh, that that happened recently on Facebook. And yeah, that, I got about that far with it. And then when I uh, I had talked to Susie on the phone and she told me, a l she she didn't go into mm -hmm. it, but she told me enough and I was like, well, that's bullshit. And yeah. it, that was pretty much it for me. I figured if I said anything, it was yeah. not going to be very nice. So yeah. you know what they say, if you can't say something nice, say something really fucking mean behind their back. Or hit them in the face. Or if, punch them in the face. Yeah, that's or paint. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of the slack hole, by the way, you mm -hmm. know, if, if you know, if your regular drama programming like TMZ or New Jersey Housewives is boring you, there is a new group on Facebook. Um, it's called the Subgenius Slack Hole. Please feel free to join it. If you are a um, dues paying reverend. Nope, nope, nope. Anybody can join. Oh, that's true. You're right. There is a well, level. It's a uh, invite level. only because Pisces had the. It is. It is invite only. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, there's some very friendly moderators. That would be myself, mm -hmm. Dr. Legume, Pisces, Reverend Stang, and Nikki Deathchick. We so will if there gladly... are some people who have been around on the fence, so to speak, but still haven't paid their love offering, there's a good chance that they can. And that's fine. Come in. They, check it out. Make up your mind. You know, get comfortable. It, and maybe you'll decide. You know, maybe you'll get the call to pay Bob exactly. your dues. And, you know. If you're a doucher, we'll just kick you out, and you can <laughs> fire us all. And there you go. I mean, well, it's always fresh meat, too, because you never know who's going to be the one who's going to come in there and just really start trying to, uh, like you said, uh, know what's best for the church or try to you know, put their own ideals that are just complete full of shit to begin with. And yeah. uh, that's always kind of fun, especially if it's like somebody you know that you can really fuck with. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, depending upon the mood you're in. Lately, I've been in one of those moods where I just, you know, I, if I can stay away from drama, I am just trying not to be near it right now. I don't think I can handle it with all that's going on. Yeah, uh, I'm, I try I'm, not to say anything unless it's just completely absurd. Yeah, you know, yeah. Even then, yeah. I'm like, I should just shut up. But you know, we're sub geniuses, and we all have opinions. And... Yeah, and if it's yeah, I mean, if it's completely absurd, all I do is throw up that one little uh, internet meme of Captain Haddock from Tintin. You know, ha ha ha! Oh wow! 